you guys know I have a podcast, it's linked down below. It's Nicole Jacklin podcast. I post new episodes every single Friday. My slime shop is restocked and it is linked down below. It's slimebyjacklin.com. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I own a slime business. I run a slime business that I hand make myself. And with that comes a lot of work, honestly. It's very labor intensive. It's a lot of hands-on work. And I've always been interested in how the drop shipping process works. Now, with my exact business, with selling a handmade product like this, drop shipping doesn't exactly apply to me. However, as of last year, obviously, I really can't do conventions right now. So I was looking into other options for merchandise. So I thought I would test out drop shipping for you guys for two weeks and kind of just see what happens. Okay, so in my first two weeks of launch for my drop shipping merchandise situation, the total order costs were $560. $68.71 and my profit was $437.13. So not bad for two weeks considering um, drop shipping you just make far less. However, it's so much more scalable because you aren't physically laboring. And then there were about 30 orders in the last two weeks, which isn't crazy, but considering this is an extension of what I'm already doing, it is a great supplemental income stream, which is going to be so exciting, but it is supplemental to what I'm already doing on, um, in my store and then YouTube, um, affiliate links, Instagram, TikTok, and brand deals. Like it's definitely going to be helping. Well, it breaks down the overall, um, stats of what sold the best. It's showing me that my hoodie was a top seller. Um, and then by surprise, by great surprise, the silver jewelry necklace that I made that says Slimer on it was the second best seller, which I never would have guessed because to me that was a piece that I was like, this will be fun to just toss in the mix. Never did I think it would actually sell number two, which is very exciting. Number three is a matte poster. Now this is the one that I created um, using Procreate. I was trying to come up with unique ways to incorporate slime and art because Printful offered quite a lot of art options and different papers and just all of that. So I came up with a original idea and I just laid out different components of what is in slime and then I promoted it using YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and just showed me with it. I placed it in my backdrop and I really tried to show how it would naturally fit into somebody else's space, especially as a slime creator. The fourth bestseller was the phone case. The fifth was the stickers. The sixth was the backpack. So crazy. Um, the seventh was the laptop sleeve. Um, the eighth was a all over print. Oh, the eighth was a all over logo print um, t-shirt. The ninth was the all over print youth leggings. And then whatever other means was the 10th because it wasn't all of this, but it's actually a pretty good break. It's a pretty good breakdown, but right off the bat, what I noticed instantly is that if I were to have just solely sold t-shirts, I mean, all of what I just listed was barely t-shirts. It was like jewelry and iPhone cases and so many different things. So I love that you have those options. Let's, let's hop in to how you can do this for yourself step by step. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to keep this as short and sweet as possible because I really hate watching these videos where people just talk about the same thing forever. So I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet because I think that's just like the most helpful, you know? So first and foremost, how I use dropshipping for my website. So I have a Shopify storefront and I just use Shopify. I will have a link down below for you guys to sign up. You can register on Shopify, get your own like domain even, like literally create your own storefront. I think Shopify is the best. I've really only experienced Shopify in the past, but I'm sure there are tons of other options out there. So once you have downloaded your storefront, a really good app that I love to use for my merchandise right now is called Printful. I found out about this app from one of my really good friends and Printful is essentially a plugin that will plug into your Shopify store. It's actually so easy to use and I don't understand how a lot of stuff like that works, but I've definitely learned a lot over the years. It's very easy to understand. I think it is just best. 
what I did was I went to the Printful app and you can log in, create an account. It's very easy to follow. And then once you are logged in, you can create your products. This is so cool because they have a ton of options as far as um, like the kind of sh like the kind of t-shirt do you want it to be softer do you want it to be cropped do you want it to be a sweatshirt a cropped sweatshirt literally so many things and if you already have a brand like me this is actually uh, the dream because you can just literally upload your logo and attach it to everything and just see what sells because you have nothing to lose in this business model which is such a big perk of drop shipping i did face masks um cell phone cases coffee mugs baby bibs backpack literally it just goes on and on there are so many awesome things so what I did was I went in, I spent like a few hours just trying to come up with cute, kind of a mixture of super merchy things. Like someone that would want a slime thing that is a fan of my overall like slime brand. But then I also wanted to make some more like kind of cool slime kind of things. I My take was kind of like a street style slime vibe so i wanted to create things that had slime like terms on them but were also cool i really love the big oversized sweatshirt look right now so i went in and i made one and then i just wrote slimer in a really cool kind of like italicized font and it just looks really cool and sleek and someone that would be older could wear it, it was just a really cool addition to my storefront. Once I had created a listing, you can actually directly, you actually have to make a collection on Shopify and then go into your app on Printful and you can add your merch directly to that collection, which is so cool. And the cool thing is, Printful auto generates a mock-up of how your design will look and they do it in a really cool way. They have a very high quality, just like, massive collection of photo options for you to choose from. It generates a really high quality um, picture of how your design will look. This just, gives, this just gives the buyer a better idea of, you know, how their product will look overall. But it also helps them see how even like a coffee mug with your logo on it or whatever it is, even if you use the models and the photos that they use and you import that into your store, it looks like you hired someone to have a professional photo shoot and all you did was just import a photo from an app. Like it is so cool and you're missing out if you're not using Printful, like it's just the coolest thing ever. As far as pricing out your merchandise goes, I, Printful is really cool because it shows you right there how much it costs to make your item, how much you have to spend to make it all that, and then it breaks it down into your profit. So if you want to adjust that number in any way, you can. For me, I tend to lower my price on the drop shipping because I know that my buyers are generally younger and they don't just have this massive vendable income that they can just drop on random stuff but at the same time i don't feel comfortable selling super expensive things i would rather make like not as much of a profit but still keep them as a long time buyer because in the long run they are going to be made they're going to come back to my store more frequently if they have a good experience with all of that and they're just not paying a fortune so you promoted it you've made your first sale this is what happens so once you make your first sale, you will get an order email as you do whenever you get an order in your store in general. And what will happen is it will automatically go fulfill at Printful. I believe you can have it set up that way. Um, I don't know if I did it myself, but I'm pretty positive it automatically sends to fulfillment. Um, but you can just verify as soon as you get an order, it'll pop up on your screen and it'll kind of show as like two different sections in the order. So you'll have your Printful order and then you'll have if they ordered like other stuff like for example, let's say they order a t-shirt from my Printful store, but then they also order a cookie dough slime and a Zodiac slime. It'll be like the same order, but they're obviously going to get two different packages. So that might be kind of confusing for them. You can definitely write in the description of their merchandise that 
just let them know like what's going on. I want to move in to different ideas for you to promote your merchandise, your drop shipping, whatever it is, different ideas to promote. Do not underestimate the power of TikTok, okay? That is my biggest advice for you. At this current moment, TikTok is definitely a massive driver in my sales. My analytics still tell me that YouTube is a huge driver still, um, which I totally believe. I have really cultivated a quite a presence for myself within showing the process of me making individual slimes and then restocking them. So that is at no surprise to me. So in that process is very alluring. So don't underestimate showing the process. People like that, it's very interesting. And just because it's not being done, it doesn't mean it isn't a good idea. It probably means it's a great idea. And, and from what I have learned, let's say you have a great idea and you launch it, you hit the ground, you know, whatever, and it's a flop. That doesn't mean it was a bad idea. It was probably just um, bad timing. Maybe it was not properly executed. Maybe you need to just look you know, retrace your steps a little bit. So don't fall down. Try not to get discouraged because it takes a while and maybe it was a bad product. Maybe it was just the wrong time. Maybe it was the wrong platform that you're using to promote. There's so many different things that could be the reason, but don't give up because you could be one click away from selling something that's so successful and you have no idea. So don't give up because giving up is not the right answer, obviously. Another option for promoting TikTok. Um, I already knew it was going there, but then I went to YouTube. I mean, YouTube is great as well, but I say build your TikTok platform first and then build out. Build TikTok platform and then tell them about your YouTube channel, your Instagram, constantly mention, link in the bio, constantly mention to go follow on Instagram, run giveaways. Um, give the person a reason to go follow you, you know, offer them some sort of discount, some sort of reward, because why else, you know, you need to create some, some sort of, there has to be some sort of urgency, some sort of, you know, reward for them. And then of course, if you are interested, I am planning on releasing a lot of different video courses over the next year, um, all about different tactics on how to promote a product on the internet these days. So many different courses. So I will have a link down below for you to sign up for my email list because I want to have you on that list when I do officially launch these courses, as well as subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a video all about them as as they roll out. And I am planning on doing more business content over the next year. I have a lot of stuff planned as well as my normal content if you are a long time subscriber. I also wanted to quickly mention that I also use these two drop shipping apps that I am experimenting with right now in my storefront. They are called um, they're called Zendrop and Spocket. Um, I believe it's called Spocket. I will link them down below. I actually just started a brand new initiative here on my storefront. My storefront is shopnicolejacklin.com, by the way. I have a new drop shipping category on my website called TikTok Viral Products. And in this, I'm experimenting with if I could do this, you know, if I could truly drive an audience that isn't slime from TikTok to my page. So I'll get back to you guys. I will definitely do a video updating you guys on how this new process works. I'm excited to try it out, especially because it's not merchandise. It's detached totally from what I currently do, but I just want to see, you know, if this is going to be something fun to try. But I will link that down below if you're curious. It is a TikTok viral product section focusing on a fun niche, making a one-stop shop for everything someone might want to buy from what they've seen on TikTok, as seen on TikTok page. So if you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because it would mean everything to me. And yes, I will link everything I mentioned down below and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. All right, bye.
I have an exciting announcement. On February 20th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am hosting a slime making workshop over Zoom. It's only $35 for a one hour workshop with me. You can make slime with me. I'll be sending you a list of ingredients before the workshop. I will answer your questions about having a slime business, literally everything and anything in between. 